Thank you. Um, hi, everyone. Um, so my my work, uh, in one sense, is really uh, is really an exploration of how we understand the world through interacting with it. So it's really it's looking at how uh, you know physical presence, uh, movement, uh, gestures or actions become uh, become meaning, become uh, you know uh, understanding or become communication. Um, a lot of these projects are situated in public spaces, so they're, they're kind of like interventions to be encountered by chance um, and, and that are a surprise, that are something that, that a person uh, needs to figure out what it is and how it relates to them. Uh, this is uh, an interactive dog that responds to people and sort of, you know, uh, responds to their gestures. And not, not quite a concert, but <laughs> dogs really like it. So this is another um, project in, in a similar format. This time it's a, it's a crowd of people that are sort of crowding around something that they're obscuring from the pedestrian's view. Um, and this project, is, it's, you know, it's more about, um, it's kind of the mechanics of spectatorship of, of our uh, public behaviors, group behaviors, and in general, sort of our role playing. Um, and, you know, as, as, as the sort of the pedestrian stands behind them, they'll, they'll, the crowd will eventually turn back and become the audience. So, you know, it becomes apparent that you're the one who's supposed to be performing for them. So they'll applaud you if you do something interesting. Uh, they'll take pictures of you and so on. Uh, this is an interactive mirror where um, the image of the animal is overlaid directly on the reflection of the viewer and it sort of follows the, the person and mimics their expressions. Um, so, so by engaging a person in this kind of, you know, back and forth, this kind of mimicry, it also entices uh, the viewer to kind of enact the animal expressions in turn. So, you know, so you'll find yourself, you know, wanting to lick your nose or something. And, um, and it's, um, it's, it's about communication, it's about um, empathy, about understanding. This is a, a projection from a moving car onto the buildings um, that, the, that the car drives by. The tiger that's in the projection uh, runs as fast as the car goes, so it will speed up and slow down depending on how, far, uh, how fast the car moves. It will st stop if the car stops and kind of look at the driver. Uh, it's, and, and as a lot of these projects, as most of these projects, and it has to do, it's, it's about nature or, you know, how we construct our ideas of nature and, um, and, and the artifice of these ideas, really. Uh, this is another interactive video installation where the, the interface to activate this installation is this big heavy rock. Um, it's, it, there's instructions how to pick it up, but it's really too heavy for anyone to pick it up, but and w it's 300 pounds. But, so, so t but uh, what's measured is actually the, the force that you're exerting in trying to lift it. So even though there's not, nothing physically happening, there's no you know, physical work being done, um, you know, your effort will make the sun rise and stay up if you, if you keep up the effort. <laughs> this is a um, cloud shape uh, lamp that attaches near the tailpipe of the car and it changes color depending on the amount of emissions that the car is producing. And the iPhone app is the feedback sort of to, to, for the driver with the same information that's displayed publicly out of the back of the car. Um, so it, the, the green indicates low amount of pollution, red high amount of pollution. And, and this project is really, you know, it's like reverse archaeology where we're looking at an object to sort of, to see the, the knowledge that's embedded in these, in these objects that we're using, right? What we know, what, what we care about, what we're concerned about. Um, and this is just to, for a final thing I'm going to show, this is a collaborative project that was a tribute to Namjoon Pike and sort of in the spirit of, of Namjoon Pike's uh, uh, work we wanted to, we were experimenting with manipulating sort of original media, different media sources um, and uh, we were doing that to, to correspond to, to viewers' movement. So if you stand still, you can actually see some of the original source um, that, we, that we all source online. But the moment you're, uh, you're starting to move, that kind of will break up into, uh, so you can see the video here, but um, 
that will sort of start breaking up into you know colors and shapes that that are really uh, controlled by your movement to create these new new forms. Thank you.